156 now. For the movie, he was 156. 150. Yeah. Gotta be. Gotta be. But he walks around at 175, 200. Mm. So he had to cut for the movie. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. was like. <sighs> That's what I like. At 53, he said, too, which is hard for him. He was like. He's 53? Yes. 53, bro. Kicked his ass. He said right. that movie. I still look better. I'm 63. You are. Are we those rolling? Are Filipino it's years. It's a Hey, how's it? Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. I'm Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. Hi. This show brought to you by the Star Advertiser. Uh, bringing you what matters. It's a Hawaii Thing. Viewers can now go digital just for $9.95 a month. Go to the website, staradvertiser.com. Mm-hmm. What's the code, Brooke? It's a high thing. Yes, just go and check it out. Yeah. Also, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Federal. Earn more and pay less uh, with Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union Federal. for life. Also got to thank Kamehameha Schools is building communities for a brighter tomorrow. Shop and dine locally and together we'll help spaces for our keiki. All right. Whoop, whoop. We got a, a great guest today. I've known this guy uh, since college. He was in college. I wasn't in college. <laughs> Hi, let's but be clear. he used, used to come up on my show because I was a big fan of his. Uh, from the University of Hawaii, he was one of the most outstanding players to date nice. uh, in his history. He was an All American pick as a receiver, punt returner by Sports Illustrated. He was winner of the Mosi Tatupu Award. Uh, he led UH with a school record 102 catches for 1,290 yards and a team high 17 touchdowns. That's a lot of math. I've never s- made a touchdown in my life, have you? That's a lot of math. Yeah. He led the Warriors with 36 punt returns for 531 yards and a school record five touchdowns. Led the team with 132 points. Uh, 2005, he was drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hello. Uh, he was Canada's most outstanding player during uh, 2012. Canada? Uh, I think, what, like three times. Canada was it three times? loves you. Two times? Three times? Uh, it sounds good. Yeah, four Round times. Round it out. He spent most of his uh, pro career with the Toronto Agronauts. Argonauts. Uh, Ar- Argonauts, I always Agronauts say wrong. I'm sorry. Angry Agronauts. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> currently, he's a host of a brand new show that's part of our family, uh, the Star Advertisers uh, CO2 Rundown. Mm-hmm. He also has a new podcast, which is part of our family, uh, and it's called Running It Back, and he does it with Ryan Kaomaka and Kiana Kayabyab. Ladies nice. and gentlemen, from Roosevelt High School, Chad Owens. Rough Rider. Roosevelt? Really? Yeah, I didn't rough know rider. Roosevelt. Yeah. Right okay. on. <laughs> Guys, thanks that, for finally That was the best intro me on. I've ever made, by well, the way. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate you it. We were, it. We were, I mean, we went to college together, so, you know, I have to do <laughs> One of you went to college. <laughs> You're looking good, man. Appreciate it, You man. take up, like, a new sport or something, huh? Yeah. Are you yeah, commenting on his, Are you commenting on his, his tan? Guns, yeah, you can and the tan, yeah. tan. Guns, tan, tan. everything. Yeah. You, you've been bodyboarding where? Bodyboarding. You know what? This is my first, and I've learn the lingo yeah uh, my first season okay. up on the north shore okay i've always uh, grew up bit. at sandy's that's a little crazy shore break yeah um but i went to the north shore Dang. and it's i a got different addicted story huh it's it's a different energy i like yeah. to call it the energy yeah. is different but it's addicting in a good way and i just love it man it's my new game day yeah huh. it's my reset it's my so okay. what's what's the I see my some, mind. i've seen some of your photos but what's the biggest f- so far at pipe that, that I've been, been out? That, yeah, and that what day? Ten, like 10 feet. Oh, like, man. But I, I'm not catching those, but I'm out there watching the, <laughs> the Jamie O'Brien catching that. Those I'm on the treading. side. No, wait, I saw a picture of you. You caught a pretty big, you caught some pretty uh, big was, waves. I mean, that was probably, that picture was probably a, maybe a seven footer. Nah, well, because you're laying down maybe. Yeah, that's yeah, seven but footer. But still, yeah, but anything at pipe. I was at pipe one time when I was, would surf. Maybe like three not feet. pipeline cafe. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, like pipe on North Online. Shore, and it was like three feet. I got out of the water. At no, listen, three. Wow. at the, three feet, yeah, because the, the, the rip. Yeah, that. But the most nerve wracking thing is if yeah. you get caught on the inside. Yes, and then you see those mountains starting to roll in. Hit you see on you. everybody, mm. and they call it again. Learn the lingo, yeah. scratching. Yeah, <laughs> out and to the right. Yes, and there was a few times where like. I was just praying because the lip was <laughs> falling and I just that's not a good enough, feeling. I duck dive, you know, low enough. Yeah. So, yeah, it's heavy, but um, I enjoy it. Making new friends, opening up into a new community Aww. there. Yeah. Right. And man, expanding my. Is there not very open mind. over there? Well, do you have to be with a local for sure. Yeah, for you, sure. I mean, then you get things done. Like I go to I surf Makaha, right? Mm-hmm. So you hang out. The yeah, Kailanas, but you got the Kailana and they yell, Everybody keys. get out of the way. It's his <laughs> wave. Yeah, 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 I yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when they when they start yelling, everybody get out of the way! It's his wave. Then you feel like, okay, Aww, I, yeah, you've I made, made it. it. You made, yeah, Aww. you made it. It took me a while, but I, I'm no good at it. That's why they say, get out of the way, <laughs> knock you guys out or something. Yeah, I mean, but definitely a whole new respect for the sport because yeah. watching it on TV, which you know, um, I've watched 
surf contest, you look at it online, even uh, I look at Surfline and yeah. look at the waves. Oh, it's, it's nice today. Yeah. But when you get out there, yeah, it's, it's a whole it's different, a different game. story. It's I tell people it's like singing. You, the good singers look effortless. Mm. The good surfers, they look effortless. Yeah. They're not breathing hard. They're not panicking, right? <laughs> that whole thing, right? Yeah. And, and, and um, one of the brothers out there told me this. He said, yeah, normally the person with the lowest heart rate does the best. Yeah, that's a good one. Wow, that makes a lot of sense. That's a a Brian Kailana line right there. It's like, hey, relax. You could be in the water and they yell at you, hey, relax. And you're like, okay. (laughs) I was out there with Makua. Uh, Uh, It's it's amazing to to be out there and witness, you know, front row. Yeah. You better bring a videographer with you. Oh, there's there's guys guys that's in the water and and I'm trying to set something up. Yeah. But we'll see. Makua. I didn't uh, realize that you... Do you surf? Did you ever? Do you want to take it to surf? Or you just uh, like the bodyboard aspect? No, I think I, I've longboarded before. Waikiki, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody yeah. longboards at Waikiki. Yeah. But I think I, I really enjoy bodyboarding. Oh, that's nice. good. We'll take a quick break. Talk more with Chad Owens. The show brought to you by the Star Advertiser, bringing you what what matters. Also, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union and Kamehameha Schools. We'll be right back with more. It's a Hawaii thing. Chad, uh, we we're talking about bodyboarding and your new sport, but you're also deep into fitness. You, uh, you, uh, you live. By fitness, it's kind yes. of your job. Yeah, it's part of. I tell I tell people this all the time. You know, when you get paid to be in the best shape that you could Thank possibly you. be, yeah. in the best shape. Ever, it doesn't make it easy, but it makes it very, very, very doable, and it becomes part of your life because yeah. it is part of your life. You know, I had to be in the best shape of my life, in my mind, in order to compete at the highest level. Yeah. In order to not just compete, but I want to be the best. Yeah. So it takes a different level of sacrifice on the fitness side yeah it takes um a certain commitment and discipline on nutrition yeah diving in all the way mm-hmm. right so um what's your regimen like like when you get up in the morning i know you're doing a shake but like what, you, what what's the what's the process <laughs> i know i do a shake <laughs> what do you mean a I shake watch, like shake it off he shake, or he's like, doing, you know well, i watch his my videos. instagram oh, yeah oh, I look, instagram. It, and it, it changed right yeah it, it changed and i've been through all sorts of different okay so like for let's let's just say for football when you're at your you know when you're at your peak what would a process be like uh, off season? Um, you, Cause you're off? still, cause you still, oh, that's, so you that's where all the cheat? work is done. Yeah. Championships oh. are yeah. won in the off season. Um, oh, that's you know deep. I thought you guys just relaxed, smoke some cigarettes. And like, <laughs> cigarettes. Smoke cigarettes. I'm just saying like ballerinas, <laughs> when they're not performing. You could tell she's an athlete. And like, yeah. yeah. Smoking. Well, it's like pageantry. You guys can train, get ready for that. Yeah, but you train before you the pageant. You don't train all year long. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. So, like, what's your regimen? Yeah, like? I mean, it, and and this is the thing that that I think, not that it's a misconception, but when you become a pro athlete, and we're talking specifically pro athlete, mm. everybody has their own routine. Yeah. Mm. Some people like to eat breakfast. Some people don't eat breakfast. Yeah. Some people work out. Honestly, there's guys that don't like to work out. Yeah. And they still ball they, out. They uh, don't work out and they're pro athletes? It's it's crazy to think, but but here's why. It worked for me beca- because I've done it my whole life. So uh-huh. that's what I was used to. But guys that wasn't really big weight room guys, wasn't re- they're able to remain more limber. Uh, yeah, right? yeah. More muscle. Uh, basketball more. players, I think, fall in that category, except yeah. for LeBron. Mm. Well, yeah. he's just a beast. He's a yeah, different but animal, he works but out hard. Everybody's regimen is different. For me, you know, I was... I prided myself on on getting up early, tr- being the first there. So, and to get up early, you got to get you know sleep. Yeah. So the sleep was important. Yeah. Um. You know, I'm not big on like, oh, I got to get eight hours. I got to get good quality sleep. Yeah, yeah. So start. Let's start there. Getting up, getting to the facility. Um. You know, getting some extra film study in. I haven't eat, eaten breakfast yet, just because I, I who can eat at five thirty yeah, in the morning? Yeah. I'm not eating that early. Water. Uh. And then you know I'd have my breakfast before meetings, you know, oatmeal. I mean, protein, good fats is sort of the a good routine to have right. before you work out. Good fats are good to have in the morning. Avocados, uh, yeah. peanuts, good things like that. Mm. So healthy. I've always erred on the side of health because, again. You wasn't a loco moco guy. No. <laughs> really? Not, 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 not before practice. Yeah, not well, no, I mean in general. That must I mean, be I hard, mean every right? once in a blue moon, <laughs> yeah. oh, locomoco sounds good, but then, you know, not for breakfast. I'm going to be right in the, into the bed after. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it, it all depends. You know, it all depends on what, you're, what, what makes you feel good. Yeah, yeah. And for me, it was just eating as healthy as I could, um, preparing mentally more than everybody else. 
uh, never wanting to feel as if someone's outworking me. So if it meant that I had to get an extra workout in after practice or, you know, simple things like rolling out and, and getting the fascial, um, you know, your, your fascia. Yeah, your fascia, on, yeah. On your body. For those of you who don't know what fascia is, no, it's the sad. covering of your muscles. Yeah, it's, 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 like a web. A, it's yeah. like a web. If you look at a picture of a body, mm. like an anatomy class, it's mm. the white stuff that holds yeah. your body, which also holds memory. That's why they talk about memory, you know, Trauma. riding a bike or whatever. Yeah. But it holds memory, it holds emotion, it holds a lot of deep things. Yeah. But yeah, so did you, because uh, because you're a speedster. You're one of the yes. fastest guys I know. So do, where do you find the balance between lifting and then keeping the speed? Well, thankfully enough, I've always been flexible mm. as a kid, thanks to like movies like Kickboxer, Van Damme, all these <laughs> people doing the splits. So I always yeah. as a kid right. would try to do the splits. Can you still do them? I'm pretty close. I could probably get down right now and give you a yeah, little. Yeah. But how I'm old? He's it. he's not old he's enough. He's 22. To be, so he's not Kikaida guy. Look, he's getting his braces off next year. He's 22. Yeah, young, young. <laughs> oh, got it. So I'm you're not fun. you're not an Ultraman guy. You well, weren't you growing up Kikaida watching all that stuff. stuff. You're too young. No, no, that's probably more your time. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did we bring that up? Kupuna status. Go ahead. <laughs> all right, wait. We got to take a quick break, and we'll talk more about your regiment and lifting and how do you balance that out. But flexibility, I guess, that is key, right? All right. This show brought to you by. By Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Chad Owens. It's a Hawaii thing. Um, talking about your fitness regimen and stuff. So a lot of flexibility things. Yeah. Huh? So so early on, as you know, flexibility. I thought yes, but what's more important than flexibility, mm. Brooke? Yes, is mobility. Oh. So so flexibility is obviously you know can you stretch and touch your toes? Right. Yeah. Keep your, without bending your knees, but mobility mm. is is the joints, uh -huh. your ankles, your mm. knees, your hips. Yeah. That's more important than flexibility. Flexibility is important, but mm. mobility is more important. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah you, because, you, go ahead. Because if you get hit all the time, yeah. you get bust up. Yeah. Right. You can seize up. And right. if your joints seize up, uh, you're not going to be able to move properly. And if yeah. your ankle's not moving properly, guess what? What's above the ankle? The knee. Yeah. ACL. Mm. I got to tell you, I, I was... Uh, one of my favorite all-time moments for you as a fan was the BYU Hawaii game. Now BYU Woo! and UH were the rivals. Always uh, like, are, of, still of, are. Of, of all time, for people who don't know, they were like the rival schools, right? And um, it was in Aloha Stadium. You couldn't find, you couldn't buy a seat. You couldn't get a ticket mm -hmm. during the, when you guys were playing that whole, that ten years, you know, bef the three four years before you and your years, you couldn't get a seat. I don't know how I got a ticket. But I was sitting like on the second row to the top. Yes. And if you know Aloha Stadium, it's not really well built. It kind of like it rocks a little side bit. To side, like you was at the carnival. <laughs> it was it was a little scary Aww. to sit at the top, but there was so much excitement. And remember it was the time when everyone threw out uh, newspaper. newspaper. What do you mean threw it like out? Like confetti. Oh, yeah. Like into the air. Ripped up their own newspaper, the, rolled it up. On the field. Threw it out. Yeah. That so was... it looked like a ticker tape parade. Huh. And then the building was rocking and Chad. Uh, you ran back one that started it all and I'll never forget that feeling because I've never we never had it again mm. <laughs> in the stadium yeah, if it, you it, think it, about it oh I'm getting chicken skin thinking about it because yeah. I, I, it just took me back to that moment what, what did it f feel like and sound like man it, it was just you know it was the opening kickoff of the game yes. I almost took it all the way and it set the tone right. mm. and that the stadium erupted and yes. like you couldn't even you, you know what here, here's a perfect example mm. New Year's Eve yeah. 12 o'clock. Oh, right. Yeah. They're lighting the. the yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it was. Huh. It was just like that roar and, you know, that energy you right. felt. And it was just unbelievable. And it, that play set the tone for the game. Yes. And then we went down and scored on our opening drive. Two plays later, I think Rolo threw a touchdown pass to Shannon Harris. And then it was just, boom, next you know, I took a punt return back for a touchdown. Right. Yeah. Defense fumble. Like we just was rolling. How many touchdowns yeah. did you get that game? Uh, I had two return touchdowns, two. almost three. Almost yes. four, if you want to include the opening. I, yeah. I think uh, I had a that, that was, it was a like ninety BS yards. A <laughs> record, yeah. The punt return was like eighty yards. The kickoff return was a hundred something yards. Yeah. I finished with like three hundred. I, I I don't know what the number was, but it was like a return yardage record. In, who for it was Rolovich? Who else was on the team? Man, Rolovich, Ashley Lilly. That was Ashley the, Lilly. He went, went to first play for round. the Denver. He first went to round play pick. for Denver Broncos. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Vince Monowai, Pisa Tinoi Samoa. Vince Monowai uh, went to go play for. Yeah. Um, Rest in peace, Vince. Yeah. Miss so you brother. guys were like the golden. That was like that was the a golden, golden era. era. Those, yeah. We were the tone. I think we set the tone. You know, well, Coach Jones in '99. Right. Yes. He made it believable. Mm. What can be done? Yeah. Right. And then we I, we came in, 
we sort of did our thing and 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 yeah. really set the tone and built confidence and in the the Colt Brennan era just they just took it to a different level. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Huh. But you but they they had an easier schedule than you guys did. To me. Why? Not not taking away nothing from what they did cuz they went undefeated yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, when Colt came in, but they had a tougher schedule. Right. You guys were in a different division too, weren't you? Didn't it Well, they were in somewhere? the WAC and then I think they and when did they move to the Mountain West? It changed, right? I can't remember when it changed, yeah. but you know, I think every you know every year presents a new yeah, challenge based course. on. It doesn't matter who you played. I, we we played. I've lost to Division One AA schools. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I think it was yeah. Florida Atlantic. Right. right. We lost to them. I'm like, damn, like we just lost to Division. <laughs> Sheesh. But it was exciting. Those were exciting <laughs> years for. Uh, to bring up hills, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> There's lessons there for University of Hawaii. Those are exciting. Did you didn't go to any of these games? I wasn't living here. Oh, bro. you were living I here. I was right. on the mainland. Yeah, you for were a long, living long it up. Time. She was living it up. Yeah, you were traveling the world in private jets. Twenty-two years, I was with not former here. presidents. Mm, whatever. <laughs> no. It's a touchy one for you. No, we should man. do a whole uh, topic about no, that. No man. Yeah, about your job with no. former presidents. Nope. No. All right. Yeah, okay. let's, let's switch this interview. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah no, no, thanks. So, bro, tell us about that. Nope. So, so you're doing uh, something with the Star Advertiser now. Tell everybody what you're doing. Yeah, would love to get into that. Uh, definitely, you know, just want to give a huge shout out to the Star Advertiser, the Honolulu Star Advertiser, yes. for you know giving an opportunity to present nationwide sports in a cool and fun and different way. The CO2 rundown. Yes. Um, what time is it on? It's every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Dang, uh, the, that's a lot. Advertisers Facebook page live yeah. at 1 p.m. Yeah, live at 1 p.m. Wait, yeah. let's talk more about that in a minute. We gotta take a quick break. Okay. This show brought to you by Kamehameha Schools. Uh, is building communities right. for a brighter tomorrow. Uh, shop and dine locally, and together we'll help create spaces for our keiki to thrive. We'll be right back with more. It's a Hawaii thing. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii thing. Chad Owens is hanging out with us. Uh, we're talking about his career and University of Hawaii. Uh, your fitness and all of that good stuff, but we're talking about the CO2 rundown. Um, this was this how this happened was really cool. It was it happened really fast. Yeah, it, Chad just came home. Uh, were you home like a week? Man, uh, well, <laughs> a couple I mean, of days. I mean, post quor uh, quarantine. Yeah, 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 I yeah. Was home quarantine 14 days. Came but out when I say home from Canada. Yeah, you came yeah, up from yeah, Canada. Yeah, and and just yeah, it happened really quick. I mean, yeah. the line. Appreciate that as well. I mean, you know, it's that's that's a great thing about you know networking your mm. friends you know you never know what opportunities will come right and you know you reconnect and stay friends with everybody oh, next you know, but, but, it's, but it's a cool it's a cool thing you guys are doing so it's monday wednesday and friday yep. and you're live and you're because you got to think about this a lot of places aren't doing sports anymore and you kind in of the, in the post yeah era, yeah in pandemic the, in the yeah, pandemic era uh. yeah. and uh and that's what you're doing you're having fun with it oh i'm having fun with it because it's like you know they, they gave me free range to yeah. kind of be me and that's why it's called the co2 rundown co2 right it's shadow ends too that's my brand oh, yeah. um, i thought it was like carbon it is <laughs> yeah it is okay play on words so we exhale carbon okay. dioxide got correct? it yes, yes. got that's it so my tagline is what exhale inspiration there wow you go. boom anyway that's See? Yeah, wow. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that but yeah uh, yes for you some did. reason so so yes, quick backstory inhale yes, inhale did. experience Excel expert uh, oh, inspiration. That's right? a good so, one. So that's it. Dude. Anyway, so I love it, you know, um, and, and it's nationwide sports. Yeah. It's not just local yeah, sports, yeah, but yeah. we featured, you know, local athletes. We featured local businesses, local, uh, you know, different things. I, I went tied into I went sports. axe throwings. Yeah. You know, tied into nice. sports. Um, Did you, you know, say axe throwing? Axe throwing. I want to do this. I love axe oh, throwing. We can go. I'm good, you know. Go over to I know the that guy. Now. I know that guy. Timberin. No, yeah, Timberin. So yeah. I didn't know I was good, but I, you know, Jay. I talked to Jay. Jay was bringing all that. I'm sorry. Jason Momoa was bringing all the axe thing oh, to he's, life, he's right? Unreal. So I ran into him at the thing, and I go, "Hey, what's up with this axe throwing thing?" <laughs> and he did it on the uh, Tonight Show or one of Whatever. the shows, right? And he goes, "You got to go try it. There's a place opening over here." So I went because I was curious. Uh. Because you're I pretty good, like, bra. Because I suck. I was. I'm pretty good. Really? Yeah, I won. I took uh, my friend's birthday. There was like eight of us, uh, and we put, everyone put twenty dollars in the pot. I won every single now time. Now I feel like we have to go and get. Oh, we I will. can throw an axe. Come on, I, I, Chad, I, I, we I gotta can throw take it, but him. But it doesn't always stick. stick. Yeah, no, well, I'll show you. We're, no, we're gonna have to have proof. It's Picks, not a power move. That's why. Picks are didn't happen, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's technique. Technique. I'll show you. The um, three of us have to go and throw. And an we axe also we'll sure. do it. We and we'll film it. Okay. We also have, I only went that once or twice too, Okay, by the way. might have been beginners. You also have know. a new show. Uh, it's called Running It Back. Yep, Running, um, Running. Running It Back. And tell everybody what that's about. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a podcast um, with, you know, I've got some, a couple of amazing hosts alongside me, Ryan Kilmaka, who Ooh. is my brother-in-law yeah. and my former teammate at, at Hawaii. He's so funny. And yeah, he's, he's Do you know like Ryan? The, 
No. You know, I think if you see Ryan, you know everyone knows Ryan. He's, he's one like of those the, guys. Not I mean, is he the X Factor? Is he the is he's just the he's the guy that keeps it light, keeps it funny, keeps okay. it yeah. Cool. Ryan, not too serious, not okay. too serious. Got yeah, it. and then and then the lovely Kiana. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, right. Got, got, got it. So you know we've got a good little trio. Mm. It's a sports podcast, but not not necessarily only doing athletes because I like to consider sports the number one connector to everything. Yeah. True that. Right? Business, yes. finance, entertainment, entertainment music. Like you can go full finance, spectrum of totally. what you want to talk about. Yeah. Uh, because as an athlete, mm -hmm. you go through it all. You yeah. do. And then some. Life, transitioning, yep. which I'm in now. So, so follow uh, uh, Running It Back on Instagram and they'll give you all the dates and when it launches and when it starts yeah, and all that. Follow us, man. But thank you so much for joining the show. Um, yeah. the time just flew by today, but... We're not finished yet. You can uh, check out our Paul, YouTube Paul. page and subscribe Wait, uh, to gifts. our YouTube page. Oh, this is what we do. We put a gift back together for all our guests. And because mm. we, we uh, kind of molded it after our personality. So this Did is we? the sweet box. And that's the salty box. So you have wow. all the sweet stuff in here mangoes fruits and then mm. you have all the salty sour stuff in sour, there sour really and we have a little uh, tally going on and on who chose everyone chooses that box fish. i have one and i have like five people i have cuttlefish which one which it's not good for your braces the cuttlefish Whatever. yeah but, but neither but is the gummies like, kids would here's, love the, here's the thing though and I, like, you have five seconds you to can't choose, help to but <laughs> get attracted to the lihi moi mango it's already watering right. I, got, I gotta go i gotta chad go. owens ladies and gentlemen follow him on instagram make sure you check him on facebook uh, yes, and uh, his I'm new six. podcast. Thank I'm you guys for joining for us. Six. We'll I'm see six. you on YouTube. Mahalo. It's a Hawaii thing. Aloha. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube page. Thanks, uh, If you didn't, hit the subscribe button and tell all your You're friends. Chad good. Owens is hanging out with us. I have yes. gifts. Uh, yes. Oh, you have more gifts. I have gifts. This is a cool sticker. Here, you can have a poi dog sticker. All you right. can have a poi dog sticker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. First on the bottom of the body board. Yeah. There you That's go. That's Naalehu Anthony from uh -huh. Hokulea fame. He's a, you know, director here in town. His wow. son, Keao, is making stickers now. Go check it out hey, online. Hey, we got to support At the Pop young Up Makeke. Yeah, so he's a young Kamehameha graduate recently. Cool. Get yourself some poi dog stickers. Okay, I'm done with that. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Lehu. Mwah. Yeah, send her the check. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> uh, what else have you been doing? Like besides fitness and sports, what is, what is it that you like to do Didn't in your Didn't you just time? judge a pageant recently? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Didn't yeah. you just uh, pick the new Miss Teen, you, Hawaii Teen USA? How do you like, how do you like judging people? It's tough. <laughs> it, it is. But Boy. you know what? I also had to shake that part off because, you know, this is – alongside with the four other judges we were we had the task of basically changing one one young two young ladies lives yeah. and giving them a, a, it's a heavy. platform yeah. and to go on and represent hawaii yep. yeah. at the you know the usa miss T uh, teen usa and miss you know miss usa yeah. mm -hmm. so you know that you you had to kind of put everything else aside and just focus and you know i i put my my, my daughter's in that situation. Yeah, I've yeah. Got two girls, yeah. Right? two daughters, and it's like, wow, like, okay. You know, not, not that, I, and, and at times, the teenage, teenagers especially, I was like, man, I'm judging my daughters right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, like, This is tough. Yeah. You know? I can't do it anymore. It's hard. I used um, to do them, it's hard. But it was impressive. Like, the teen competitors, like, oh, some of their bios, bio, I was yeah. like. I was blown away. I was like, like okay, how old is this girl Yeah, biochemists. Yeah. I mean, they all want to go into what did stems. and Miss Universe? Back then, I think the questions were like, I what's your hopscotch. favorite color? <laughs> and what's your favorite animal? I was good at dodgeball. And, yeah, it was nowhere near as competitive yeah. as it is. These now. girls, the, the final, the, the final questions that they got asked. Yeah, yeah, some, Black Lives Matter, some tough political, and like yeah. police patrol. I mean, yeah. it was crazy. Yeah. yeah, they're all ready though. And they're, they're teens. They're like teenagers. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. So no, I was impressed. And, and and what I did post teen and post miss mm. is I put out a message on you know my my social media, my Instagram, just as a sort of a, a positive thing because not everyone there's only one winner right right but they should all consider themselves winners totally because man like it takes a lot of courage to do what they did yeah, yeah. it takes yeah. a lot of preparation and i know i'm thinking okay as an athlete i know what i had to do to get to where i, I got right yeah i didn't win every game i didn't win every play i, I dropped balls mm. and there's things that i that happen you lose sometimes but you you learn right, right. you don't lose yeah, you yeah. learn right and these are all just experiences right. for them you know, th those that didn't get crowned, mm -hmm. 
they are still super successful mm-hmm. and they can still go my message on. basically was you can still go out and do everything that that you're yeah. setting out to do right on top of that you got to put a bikini on in front of everybody that's oh right and get judged bro yeah the yeah. pressure yeah. Yeah. so it was it was it, it was a good experience and you know i'm going to take it as a huge um compliment that I got asked that I got asked to, right. to be a judge on such a, a prestigious uh, stage. Is there something that uh, we don't know about that you like to do? Like, is there a hobby? Like knitting? Be- besides TikTok? Like, is there <laughs> you something? know, I've rec- that's just recent. And, and, and I'm, and, and, <laughs> hey, you're good at it. Are you I blaming well the pandemic? That. Are you blaming the pandemic no, he can for dance, TikTok? That's why no, I'm, I'm blaming, I'm blaming I social media society. Uh, I got like, it. You, okay. you got to keep up with the times. That's true. Uh, is there anything but I love it. Um, you know what? I enjoy... I enjoy uh, doing design work. I enjoy yeah. like almost in the net marketing field, like graphic branding. art design work. Yeah, yeah. graphics. Uh, not that it's a hidden talent, but it's it's self taught. Um, I just I like I, I like getting things done right now. Right. And I don't like waiting on people all the time. Mm-hmm. So I figured I gotta learn this. How long did you play uh, in the CFL, Canadian Football League? Uh, How many years? Ten years, basically. Two thousand nine. So were you a Canadian? You had to be a Canadian citizen then. No, I, I, no. They don't you make gotta, you. Gotta, you would think, and that's something oh shit, they changed. They it's don't like, make you, you become one. Like, you should literally be if you're there for so long. Right. You're serving yeah. in that country, yeah. paying yeah. taxes. You're representing that country. Right. I'm representing Canada every time I was outside. Right. I was. A, I brought the Grey Cup to Hawaii. See, yeah, yeah, that's right. See, you know, I represent Canada, Canada yeah. Trudeau, Toronto, Trudeau here in Hawaii. So, do you miss Canada? No, I, I do. I mean, right now it's it's cold. cold. Yeah. Um, I'm loving the weather, but I, I I've got friends, lifelong friends that right, are there right. that I that I miss tremendously. Yeah, yeah. and the people they and loved the people you there. So. Wait, so let me, I, let me get to the bottom of this. Is it just because Canada's not? No, you're friendly. We love you, Canada. But oh, like yeah. they just didn't want you guys. You didn't have to become no, citizens. No, we applied for a permanent residency. Oh, but you got to go that route first uh, and then citizenship. Got and it. Our PR. Hey, if you're in thing. Canada, you think you want, you want you want Americans in your country? You leave them outside. You stay yeah, outside. So. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, you know, it, it didn't work out, and you know, it, it, mentally, I thought that that was that. Oh, was you it. wanted to stay there. I wanted to stay there. Oh, oh okay. So the pandemic uh, prompted this. Yeah. Really? We made a decision. Okay. As a family, three weeks later, we're on a plane. Wow. wow. So I didn't we know had that. an entire house to pack up. That's insane. Sell stuff. I had two cars to get rid I of. I thought you wanted to, I thought you couldn't wait to come home for some reason. I didn't, no, I didn't know. I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest. I, I was probably the least excited. To really? come back to Hawaii? Really? And Just then look what mentally, happened. Yeah. I mean, now I'm like, wow. On I, board. I'm, I'm supposed to yeah, be Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, drank yeah. the Kool-Aid. Yeah, this, this is it. Well, I think part of it is because you built this career there yeah. and you have all this love there. So right. why would you? Come back. You got all the love right. there. Why don't you stay there and and, right. and monetize it? Yeah. Right. And and I gotta I gotta add this. Not I'm here. All can. these things that are coming up, and I gotta add one more thing though. I'm coming. That's coming up. Mm. I'm I'm gonna get my uh, real estate license. Oh, Ooh. good. That's coming yeah, soon. Yeah. So, holla at you, boy. Yes. If you are <laughs> buying a house that's in 2021, because yeah. I will have my license by okay. then. And Let's go. Good for you. Let me He's help you. He's been busy. Uh, yeah. He's been busy. We're doing acting. Other, acting. Yeah, yeah. We've been doing some other business stuff too. Wow. Oh, yeah. Well, connecting people anyway. I've yeah. been very, so, I've moves, been very man. lazy during this pandemic. <laughs> no, you, you guys, know, you came, you showed up here. Yeah, God. but you guys have been super busy compared to me. I have to get busy. <laughs> no. Well, you, but you did all the busy, flew around in private jets for twenty mm-hmm. years. You're just so. gonna keep bringing that yeah, up. Yeah, Miss huh? Universe. Okay. So you did all your stuff. Whatever. You can relax now. No, thanks, buddy. Yeah, I'll just ride your coattails until they fall <laughs> off. Okay. Well, there's no coattail to ride. Get it. But uh, how, so the kids, your your son is an amazing athlete. Um, that was a rough year last year, of course, because nobody played anything. Mm. Um, How old is he? Seventeen. Is he gonna? Oh. You think he's gonna go to a, a? What do you want him to do? What does he want to do? I, college. I, I want him to achieve what he he wants. To yeah. Achieve, what does right? he, he want wants to, to go and play ball at a D one college? Yeah. He, he's a quarterback, mm. but he's also a baseball player. Yeah. Oh. So you know he's he's sort of like that Kyler Murray style. Yeah. Um, because he's, safer he's though, a little baseball. shorter. <laughs> yeah, but you know what it is for these kids. Yeah. And, and no offense, you know, because we got friends, Shane Victorino. Like, yeah. they look at they don't look at baseball as like spotlight sport. Oh. Yeah, yeah, football has like more All of the eyeballs. Yeah, it's, just, and it's the a hype. weird thing. But yeah, it's like, yeah. bro, like what you don't understand is baseball is long longevity. Game. Yeah, yeah. baseball, long game. your contract's guaranteed. Yeah. Right. Football, the only thing that's guaranteed is your is your signing bonus. Right. Yeah. You can sign five years, two hundred million dollars, but then you got oh yeah. you got a a, a, a thirty thousand dollar signing bonus. Guess what? You're only guaranteed thirty thousand dollars. You're yeah. like a pageant mom for for 
<laughs> sports. So you I know, totally got it just now. It's um, are the other kids athletic? Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. both are. I mean, you know, they grew up. Where does he go to school? Sports. Where is he playing? Currently, uh, him and my daughter are at Monolo. Okay. And my, right. my, my youngest, she's also at Monolo Middle. Oh, got it. All right. Yeah. And are they, what are they, what sports are they playing? Soccer and yeah, soccer. Soccer's a good one too now. To get into it. Is there good. no planet where your kids are just like, I'm playing a violin? Like, everyone's got to be physical, yeah, right? Because the wife's Like, physical no one's too. just like, ah, dad, I'm Athlete. just going to be doing Dungeons and Dragons all day long. I'm cool. Like, they have Usually to be physical. One, but my, my youngest, she, she does enjoy, like, baking. She wants to, uh, like, you know, bake. She right. But if they that. wanted to be baking gamers and play right games yeah, all day, no, you'd be like, get your not, ass not, up off gamers. of the, get off the couch and get your ass outside and kick exactly. a ball. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I definitely like pressure. Well, I force sports on pressure. them. I know pressure. I well, if you're, all, if you're constantly outside and doing sports, they're going to be around it. Right. Uh, yeah. okay. I, I always look at the, the Shoji's. Like uh, Dave Shoji. Oh, yeah. His two boys are both Olympians and they both play professional volleyball. Volleyball. Right. I mean, they grew up in that gym, ooshing balls. Right, right, so right. So all they know is it's volleyball, volleyball right? right? So people go, how do you get two kids on the Olympic team? How do you two, not? <laughs> yeah. And they're the stars of the Olympic oh, yeah. team. Right. You know what I mean? Because they've been in the gym it's the whole time. It's sheer osmosis. Being yeah. Around yeah. And Are any time. of your kids going to do a pageant? Nope. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> not even yeah, a Well, bit. your kids are smart. Yeah, well, thanks, yeah. buddy. <laughs> Your kids are smart. I don't, they got that from the dad. Yeah, or my you? my son wouldn't do a pageant. That's weird. But my daughter's too savage. Like yeah. she's got it cracked already at six. She's not going to do pageants. She's going to run them one maybe. But she. Who, that's good. She won't run. Yeah, she won't. She's not. Not interested. Uh, who did you look up to as for sports? Who was your idols? Well, I mean, growing up, uh, you know, I had a, a cousin who was four years older than me. Okay. And okay. He, he went to Kamehameha. Okay. Uh, Danny Pacheco. I'm not sure. He was the uh, Pachecos. He, had, he was a good athlete, football, basketball. Uh -huh. You know, he did it all. And I was always that, that, I was that little cousin who mm. wanted to tag along mm. all the time and nice. go play with the older kids. But right. that helped me sort of like yeah. compete Elevate. And, and, and prove myself because I was always undersized. Yeah. Right? Um. So it sort of created like that that thing and when i succeeded at times it gave me confidence yeah right. yeah so you know that's sort of who i looked up to as you a kid. you you know what you mentioned that a lot the undersized thing but i never look at you as undersized what does that it's even mean I, that's, that's because, I, because that's because i'm taller than you <laughs> i'm actually an inch taller than you garden but, gnomes but are taller than him no, so. because you know like spud webb was an idol of mine and, oh. and you always say well because he was small and he was mighty but i never looked at him as how tall are you well i think because we're the same I, I i i probably played and performed Performed and yeah. maybe performed bigger than, than what, what I yeah, that's what is that's considered what it is. What's I'm five the, eight, 180 pounds. That's tiny. We're in football. We're in football. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, we gotta wrap it up. Okay. Chad, thanks for being here. Uh, Make sure you go check out his podcast. Yes. Thanks for coming thank on you, the thank show. You, thank you. Follow him on Instagram and all his platforms, Facebook and all that. Good to see you, brother. Yeah, We're proud no, of you. Mahalo, thank you guys so we'll much. See you next time. It's a Hawaii thing. Aloha. It's a Hawaii thing. Whoa.